Citrix Secure Browser Service delivers a secure internet browsing experience to your users. Here's how to get started in less than 15 minutes. You will need a Citrix Cloud account to get started. If you don't have an account, you can go to citrix.cloud.com and sign up by using the link in the left-hand corner of the sign-in page. In our case, we already have an account, so let's go ahead and log in to Citrix Cloud as a completely new customer. When we log in, we'll be taken to Citrix Cloud Control Plane that you can see here. This control plane gives us a high-level overview of our environment. Below, you see all the services we are able to sign up for. Locate the Secure Browser service and click Request Trial. After the request is sent through, the Secure Browser service tile now shows up under My Services. By clicking on View Trial Status, we can see that the request has been received and we should get an email shortly. While we wait, sign off from Citrix Cloud. Normally, it takes between 5 to 10 minutes to get the confirmation email, but for the demo, we sped up the process and have our email here. Our trial request has been approved, and we should click the Sign In button to get started. It is important that you click the Sign In button via the email and log in to its redirected link. If you go directly to Citrix Cloud not via the link, the trial will not activate. When we press Sign In, we will be taken again to the Citrix Cloud page, and we will log on. As you can see, our Secure Browser trial is now activated, and we have 29 days of free service usage left. Let's get started right away by clicking Manage. Publishing a secure remote browser for your users can be done in three easy steps, so let's get started. You can choose whether users need to authenticate or not before they start their browser session. In this case, we don't have a connection to Active Directory, so we will have to choose the unauthenticated option. Next, give your browser a name and define the start URL. We can also define the region for the remote browser session. As you can see, we have five regions across the globe to choose from. For the sake of the demo, we'll select Auto, which means that the region closest to the user will be automatically selected. Once we click Publish, we have a secure browser created. Now we need to test the browser and share the URL out to our users. Before we do, let's have a quick look at the policies we can set. Here we control what the user is allowed to do within the browsing session, whether they can copy paste, print, or even save documents to the local drive. In many cases, users want to be able to copy and paste web addresses into the remote browser, so let's enable that. Now we'll test out our newly created secure browser. From the action menu on the right, choose Launch Publish Browser. This launches a session in a separate tab using the Citrix Workspace app for HTML that will be downloaded on demand. This means that there are zero prerequisites needed on the endpoint. As you can see, the remote browser opens with the start page redefined and can be used like any other browser. We can load any site without worrying that our endpoint will be attacked through a compromised website. As you can see, the performance matches the one of a local browser, thanks to the Citrix HDX protocol being used. We can open multiple tabs, allowing our users to read their personal web email, which is normally a high-risk action for many organizations. Another high-risk area is different social media sites, but individuals on your marketing team may need to be able to access these websites. Using Secure Browser, we can allow specific users to utilize websites like these without compromising security. When we are done, we can exit the Secure Browser session by closing the tab in our local browser. Now to share the launch URL to users. We do this by copying the URL from the action menu and sharing it how we prefer. In our example, we are pasting it to an email that goes out to our users. The individuals using Secure Browser will click the link and a secure browsing window will automatically launch. Now we've allowed our users to surf the web securely and drastically reduced our attack surface for web-based attacks and it only took less than 15 minutes. To try it yourself, go to citrix.cloud.com to get started.